want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors, honors to you, brethren, you fellow believers of the truth, and Shalom to the elect. This is actually going to be kind of a follow up off of uh, Elder Manat Zatbas video. I, I was inspired by the history of uh, Thyroi massacre, massacre. I guess that's how it's pronounced. I think I got like 25 minutes in for a 27 minute video. So I was definitely inspired by it. So then I went back and check out the video. Um, the brother GMS, Elder Brother GMS South Carolina 8. So then I said, well, let me look at some other things. I like, you know, we see these massacres that's not known, you know, that just pops up. Now it's all being revealed. And the Lord said he revealed everything, you know, to his servants. Right. And a lot of these things are made for us to expose. You'll get different sects of people who bring these things out. But we, we filter it through scripture. Now, this also proves in Deuteronomy 28 that if anybody fits that curse, it'd definitely be us. I'm just saying in the Bible in general. But anyway, this is titled, Tulsa isn't the only race massacre you were never taught in school. Here are others. Now, not to mention, people will talk about others like the Irish. They had a rebellion of escaping the draft. I was reading up on that a little bit, but they didn't go through this. This is different. Although a lot of those so-called black Irish with Jake's. Now, let me read a little bit of this. It says, with President Biden condemning the 100th anniversary, 100th, uh, commemorating the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa Race Massacre, Tuesday, many Americans are learning for the first time about the nation's long history of racist rampages, particularly starting from the 1800s. But, when Christopher Columbus came here, that was a massacre. And you gave him a holiday for that. Right? Fast forward, you have, um, we're still in a, a racial massacre. You have uh, Margaret Sanger, head of eugenics, right? You see the parent plan hoods. Is that not a massacre? Okay? Is that not a massacre? Are these young men being separated from their parents while their mama's work and the daddy's out of the home. Then you feed them rap music. But then this thing with Kyrie Irving, they want to promote, and I guess they're supposed to, this is their society, but it's anti this and anti that. But when it comes to us, nobody went through what we went through on a lot of levels. Okay? This where a massacre says the act or an instant of killing a number of usually helpless or unresisting human beings. And this was happening at the the parent plan thing. That's what it seems like to me. Under circumstances of atrocity and cruelty. Now and again, you'll have people say, well, it happened to us and we had a massacre. But 300,000 or I don't know how many uh, Taino Indians were slaughtered almost to nothing. Then you went and got so-called Negroes and then brought them in. And as the elder was bringing out, Jake subscribed. This is the scripture says, never trust thine enemy to try to get help from their enemy. And their enemy shot him dead. Now, the elder did bring out the fact that a brother posted it. I don't know brother name but it was a, a social media post but I guess it inspires you know things come out of that you know so I'm going to look at here and here's a few I'm going to scroll through this black massacres they got the one of Chicago 1919 Detroit 1943 New York 1863 I don't know I think the massacre is still going on with Jake's getting blown away by the cops but um, just in separate instances. In fact, when I when I got locked up from time to time in the world, they would call it Black Tuesday. 
and Black Friday, you know, and this is where you get your Black Friday. They would lock up Jake and, you know, sometimes Jake wouldn't make it. Anyway, um, Washington 1919, there's a whole bunch on here. Now, we do know this is crazy because the, the, the uh, medium, they would only allow you to get a little bit of your history of what you want to know, right, or what they want you to know. They will not tell you the full measure of your history. So if a lot of you people, you know, a lot of you, Jake and you Eves, knew your history and believed your history, you wouldn't sell out for the bag and you wouldn't be behaving the way that you behave. You know, it's kind of, you know, we're destroyed. So anyway, let me go um, down here, see what it says. Now, we know about Tulsa, Oklahoma. They set it up. They made their own stock market or whatever. Send a white woman in there, set everything up. You know how I go. Colfax, L.A. in 1873. This was a direct attack on black men getting a right to vote during a reconstruction after whites contested the result of the 1872 election. So you see, we never had a fair shake, right? You was just used as a prompt to get particular things done, and then once you wasn't needed anymore, you was cast out. It says black men and mostly black state militia hold up around the parished courthouse to protect the local government. See, this is crazy. So let me get a scripture real quick. Um, Deuteronomy, I'll probably stay here a little bit. 28. And let's go to um, 18, uh, 19. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Right? Uh, this, If this doesn't fit anybody, like they'll say the slave trade, no big deal, get over it. We can't use that event according to the Bible to go with, you know, the narrative of the, we being a true Hebrews. But when you look at the Lord's cursing and all the things he's, de he's done before then and uh, prior and even up to this day, post up to this day, you can clearly see. You can clearly see that there, um, there are some similarities in these prophecies. Now, Job 30. 4 and 29 says, when the Lord hides with his face, who can behold him? So since we got put in them chains and captivities, um, Jeremiah 8 and 11 says, they healed the herd of the daughter of my people, slightly saying peace, peace, when there is no peace, and we're still being brought um, forward through captivity. We haven't been delivered, right? The Lord shall send upon the cursings, vexations, and rebuke, and all that thou shalt set thy hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed. This goes to Tulsa. You know, it is it is sickening because Jake, our people, will side, and it, it kind of makes sense, but it doesn't, because you're going to go to where, who got the power. So if this man has the power and he has the money, you're going to try to simp out for them dollars. And this is why to this day, people who are successful in this society will say, so-called successful, you're not successful until you have your own face on your money. But people in this society will say, God don't hate everybody. It's all about love. And then they set up around the 1860s, 70s as well, um, the abolitionists and all them set up uh, conversion of Negroes to Christianity. So a lot of this happened, you know, even during the Civil War, um, they had a conversion. Some of us knew about, you know, Hebrew language, Hebrew doctrine, and what they did is converted us when we joined these militaries, right? We start to be like Massa. It's just what it is. So let's go back. I, I won't try to make this long, but Lord's will, I'll leave the link in this, the subscription box. It says, the Wilmington, North Carolina of 19, 1898. It says, this incident is better described as a successful coup, a diata, 
in which white supremacists overthrew the results of local election in a process they killed dozens of black people and burned down much of Wilmington's pros- prosperous right black neighborhoods right black families ran into the woods to hide while others were forced to leave by train never to return now you tell me right that something like this that happens to a people hundreds of years later won't have some form of impact on their mindset right on a system that was built on greed and corruption and rape rob and murder it's easy to see why you would be behind it's not that long ago that they just they didn't stop lynching right so when these jobs were set up these uh people were set up by the elitists who really don't care about them they use that authority of that white so-called privilege to destroy jake and the elites could give a damn really about either one more so could give a damn about jake but this is how they use that black and white divide conquer it makes sense and then this so-called white man took it to other levels yeah he had us in slavery but he took it to other levels let's get another scripture real quick um let's go to the 48th verse it says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and thirst, right, and in nakedness, and in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. So we the ones got those yokes of irons, and a lot of us still do. Right? So I still see it as a massacre to this day. Right? Until the Lord delivers us. There was some in 1919, the Elaine Memorial Massacre, um, dozens of racist attacks and massacres of the Red Summer of 1919. Oh, man, there's so many on here. I've seen another site that had even more than this. It's like hundreds. It was hundreds of massacres. And as I said, the biggest massacre now is they ain't got to go in and start shooting you up and killing you. They just set up a parent planhood. Turn turn the woman against the man. Right? Set up adulterous relationships. Ain't no woman gonna settle down and try to raise a child and she just doesn't slept around with 30 men in lat in the last month. Hell, she don't know who the father is. So what's our next outcome? We'll give you the option. So what this does is it takes away the natural, so called natural home. If you really think about it, it's an ingenious plan on the left-hand side. Turn the woman into the uh, harlots. Let them lay with everything. Do whatever the hell they want to do. That's going to take their ability to reproduce. It's going to take it away. And once you have so many of those abortions and so many men you laid with, as you get older too, you, you think of your beautiful all the way in your 40s, you know what's going to happen. Now you're not going to be able to have children. Anyway, they gave you a way out. They say you can freeze your eggs, which proven hadn't worked. Okay, Rosewood, Florida. Everybody should know about this one. Rosewood was a, a successful black town, uh, a successful black-owned town in Florida, Pine Woods. They had a movie on that until it was burned to the ground by a white mob. Now, what disgusts me is that commercial, that Chase commercial, when that guy's supposed to be talking about rebuilding Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, with the Chase MasterCard or whatever. Like, what's wrong with that picture? You ain't building it. They tore it down and they said, you know what? We're, you know, if we can't do it, you ain't going to do it. So we have to be in charge of that. Just like all this betting and these betting on these football games and all that now. You know, Jake was doing that back in the day. And they declared it illegal until they're able to do it. So, you know, you can pretty much get the point. It says, um, a white mob seek revenge for the purpose assault of a white woman. And these white men put these white women up 
to do that. A lot of people don't know. You, they'll show you in movies and stuff. And sometimes it don't even be a white woman. They'll just use a white woman and say that's what happened. Because it ain't the white woman killing. Now, they're all counterparts, so they're all irresponsible. But it's always the, the head man that's responsible, right? It says at least six people were killed, perhaps more. Yeah, like Elder Manada Zatba was saying, yeah, six people. Get out of here. You better add a couple of zeros to that. Survivors waded through swamps. You mean to tell me they burnt down this whole town knowing the way the white man gets down and they only killed six people? Come on, man. Survivors waded through swamps, their night clothes to escape. A 1994 law allowed descendants of Rosewood residents to attend state's co state colleges for free. Oh, my goodness. This is the same thing going back to uh, uh, Richard Humphreys, going back to the HBCUs, man. <clears throat> that was called re-education. Like, that's going to make it all right. They get to kill your family, destroy you, and hundreds, uh, 100 years later, almost 100 years later, now you get to go to school for free. You people are simple, man. You accept anything. Jeremiah 15, 21, and I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. This is crazy, man. These people are all lined up and happy to take that money too. We're going to give you free this and free. That's how you know we destroyed. And I think Tulsa, Oklahoma, they're trying to do the same thing. Give the descendants grants and money. Well, why don't you give them their land back that you stole? In fact, give all the land back that you stole, which we expect that not to happen. And Lord did that because right now it's so defiled. You can't take this land back. Why would you want it? The only cleansing agent now that's left is the missiles. That's all I have on that. Shalom.